A Millville man is in jail and is accused of stabbing two of his neighbors. Now, police say the man called 911 overnight and turned himself in, saying that he had stabbed the neighbors in self defense. Good afternoon. I'm Stacy Smith. And I'm Christine Sorensen. Megan Schiller brings us the latest details new at noon. This is the front door where that stabbing happened. I just talked with the mother of both of the victims. She didn't want to go on camera, but she said that the man who lived down the street, a neighbor who she said they trusted, entered their home last night through the back door with a knife. I heard a bunch of cop cars and people running around. I come out and there's cops everywhere, people running up and down the streets. An early morning stabbing left John Scripps, two friends in the hospital, and his other buddy in jail. Actually, they were. I see them talking with each other all the time, and, you know, I just never expected this to happen. He's talking about the suspect, Sean Holtgraver, and the victim, David Wolf. Police tell KDKA that 43 year old Holtgraver allegedly broke into this Evergreen Avenue home and started stabbing Wolf and his sister, Jessica DeMoss. Police said Holtgraver ran out of the home, but called 911 about 30 minutes later, admitting to the crime and asking to turn himself in. One officer's body camera recorded Holtgraver allegedly saying he'd been ripped off many times by Wolf and went to the home to, quote, make things right. He said he threw his knife in the Allegheny River. It's not worth it over a little bit of money. I mean, to get in this type of trouble over well, 30, 40, 50, 100 bucks, it's really not worth it. The victim's mother told me she trusted her neighbor and he'd been around the house before. She was in total shock and she's not alone. It was pretty wild down there last night. I was pretty surprised. It was pretty crazy. And that mother told me that her son is now home, but her daughter will need surgery. She said she was planning on spending the day at the hospital as her children continue to recover. Reporting in Millville, Megan Schiller, KDKA TV News.